Yo, what's good everyone? This is AEO Boxing with Madiba, and we're here to talk about Ryan Garcia testing positive for PEDs. And this was disappointing and upsetting news. Yesterday it was reported that Ryan Garcia tested positive for PED Austrain the day before and the day of the Devin Haney fight. And this news shocked the internet. A lot of people are calling Ryan a cheater while others are defending him, while Haney is disgusted and wants the fight to be declared a no contest. Regardless of the side you're on and what you think, this is a bad look for Ryan. Ryan was criticized for intentionally missing weight, but due to a stellar performance, it was overlooked for the most part. But him popping dirty for PEDs has tainted that win, and his perception in the boxing world has changed. This is something he will have to deal with for the rest of his career. Ryan can still request for his B sample to be tested to prove his innocence, but when it comes to things like this, you're guilty until proven innocent. So I'm not going to act as if I know anything when it comes to drug testing, PEDs, and VADA, because I don't. But what I do know is that boxing is lawless and a corrupt sport where anything can happen. I wouldn't be surprised if Ryan did cheat or he was set up. So I'm not going to do some analysis to prove whether he cheated or not, but my biggest issue with this situation are the boxing fans. I see a lot of Ryan fans questioning why the test results came after the fight. They're claiming if Ryan tested positive the day before and the day of the fight, then why did they allow the fight to happen if they knew that Ryan was on PEDs? And seeing this argument made me realize how uninformed, ignorant, and dumb boxing fans and people in general can be. Drug test results are not immediate. Instead, they typically require a few days for processing before you get your result. The sample has to be taken on site, and in this case, it will be a urine sample, and then it's shipped to a lab for it to undergo analysis. So it makes perfect sense why the results came after the fight. There's been so many examples of boxers popping dirty for PEDs after the fight. It happened to Alicia Baumgartner after she went undisputed. It happened to Michelle Rivera after he lost to Frank Martin. And it happened to Amir Khan after the Kill Brook fight. And he was caught with the same PEDs that Ryan apparently used. And then you have fans acting as if PEDs are not a big deal. And pretty much justifying and making excuses for Ryan. Saying things like, PEDs had nothing to do with Ryan's win, and that sounds ridiculous. What kind of logic mentality is that? PEDs are cheating because it gives an unfair advantage, simple and plain, and not taking PEDs is the bare minimum a boxer can do. The only reason why people are saying this is because they like Ryan. This is a perfect example of fans being biased, because I guarantee you, if Haney won that fight and beat up Ryan, but then tested positive for PED use after the fight, these same people defending Ryan would crucify and hate on Haney. When you lack respect for the bare minimum and have no integrity, you stand for nothing and fall for anything. And then you have the conspiracy theory fans. Is it possible that Ryan got set up? Yes. I wouldn't be surprised if his sample got contaminated or tampered with. I mean this is boxing. Anything can happen. It's also possible that Ryan may have unintentionally or accidentally ate drink or consume something during camp or the day of the fight that made him test positive. His nutritionist may have gave Ryan something without his knowledge, but to act as if Ryan supporting Donald Trump or that the elites are setting him up for failure is laughable and just doesn't make no sense. I mean the Donald Trump supporting angle has already been played out. The UFC and Dana White openly support Donald Trump and no one comes for them so why would they come for Ryan? A popular narrative is that Vegas and I guess the casinos that do the gambling were mad that Ryan beat the odds so they're setting him up for failure but you can poke so many holes in that narrative as well. But if the roles were reversed, these fans wouldn't be saying this. And then I've seen people say that Eddie Hearn set up Ryan Garcia, which also is laughable and I'm not going to expand on that. So here's a clip of an interview that I saw today. What? So I collected Ryan Garcia's bloods and sent them to the VADA laboratory. I mean, you do know I've had a lot of fighters that have failed VADA drugs tests. I've been on both sides of the fence here and I know exactly how this will play out. This is the situation, plain and simple. Ryan Garcia had performance enhancing drugs in his system. He failed two VADA tests. When you say, how would you not have got, you let the fight go ahead? They were taken, as I understand it, on Friday and Saturday. They've got to be sent to the laboratory in Salt Lake City, they've then got to get tested. It takes anywhere between like four and ten or 
10 days, I believe, to test the samples. So that, that's ridiculous, right? Now, as we know in this situation, because I've been there so many times before, guilty until proven innocent, unfortunately, right? Now, I'm not standing here now saying Ryan Garcia is a drug cheat, he should be banned from life, blah, blah, blah. All I'm saying is, the facts we know are he had performance enhancing drugs in his system when he fought Devin Haney. And then you have the Devin Haney fans and a lot of boxers outright labeling Ryan a cheater. Well, I understand why a lot of boxers may feel that Ryan is guilty. They would know more about PEDs and the testing protocols, but when it comes to the fans, I find it crazy because the B sample still has not been tested yet. If that comes back negative, then Ryan can claim innocence with proof. But going into this fight, Ryan was tested several times and each were found negative. So this does raise some suspicion in how he tested positive this time. But the B sample is usually the same as the A sample. With all that being said, all we can do is just wait and see if there's more information that comes out. Regardless, this is a black eye for the sport. Not only does it kill the momentum gained from that fight, but it also taints Derek James and Golden Boy's image and reputation. This whole situation should show you how dangerous social media can be. It's crazy how quick narratives form, how fake news is spread, and how uneducated opinions are often valued over the experts. PED use and cheating has been normalized in boxing, but the fan reaction shows me that no one cares if you're liked. Conor Ben got destroyed online by the majority of boxing fans and was even criticized by Ryan Garcia for being a drug cheat. But now Ryan is in his own scandal. My question is, what happens to Ryan now? The worst case scenario is a suspension, which would halt his career and his momentum, and would ultimately hurt boxing as a whole. But who knows, this is boxing, anything can happen. But thank you for tuning in with AEO Boxing from Adiba. Hit like, subscribe, and more contests on your way.